All right, hey guys, welcome again to File Arms and Such, and this is Simplex 4010 Test 31, Old Auto Call and Light Plates. So to start off, this is an alarm I've been wanting to get for a while, and then I got the alarm, but then it took me forever to find a key for it, but now I have the key so I can finally incorporate it in a system test. So we're going to start with the Auto Call 4015 Single Action Pole Station, and I'd have this alarm, I actually have two of them, but it had taken me forever to find an auto call flag style key. But I was finally able to get my hands on a flag style key. So now I can actually put this pole station in service. And it is. And going up here we have a simplex mechanical chime. This will be running at code 3. I can give you the first four numbers of the model number because the rest of the label was broken off so it is a 2902-9 something 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 uh, anyone has the full model number for a simplex 24 volt mechanical chime DC that would be pretty cool and then going up another model number I'm searching for because um, I've never had one of these before is a simplex frosted light plate now this is different than a strobe plate because this actually has two incandescent light bulbs inside that don't flash, they just stay illuminated. So this will be running at steady. Coming over here is a classic, well, actually a system sensor spectra alert classic. And this is set at 15 candela and code three electromechanical horn. Coming down here under the stopper with the horn off is the Cybers Pyrotronics MS-151 single action pull down pulse station. Come up around here, we have the same smoke and heat detectors. We'll be uh, testing those today. And then coming over here is a Simplex 4904 9176 15 candela remote strobe. And then going down, we have the ADT 5060S dual action push then pull pull station. And then everything is the same at the desk, but the desk is kind of a mess right now, so I'm not sure how much we're going to do over there today. All right, so I think we can actually finally start with the test. In three, two, one. So it's really unfortunate about um, not being here for a while is that the door, I guess, built up a little bit of static between uh, the two magnets. So it didn't close right away when the uh, alarm went off because I don't have the spring super high. So I threw my keys at it. But then my keys landed inside the room that the door closed. So I had no way to open up the panel to reset it. So I guess we did have to go through the enunciator. Um, so let's find my keys. Let's see where they went. There's the... Spectral alert going good. There they are. Let's grab them. A E B. It's uh really unfortunate is that they landed in a litter box. Ah, I got them. So that kind of sucks that they landed in the litter box, but uh, it's fine. So then to reset an auto call 4015 pull station, if I can find it, there it is. You take your flag style key, put it in the bottom, turn it, and then just slide it up. And now everything is reset. And then we can open up the main panel. Maybe if I can find the key, it's been a while. and do a reset. I hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, little videos I've been posted posting while I'm away at college. So sorry I have not been able to do system tests as often as I want to, but I wanted to get this one out before winter break because in winter break I, I plan to record a whole bunch of them and release them to you guys. Um, but help the little supplementary things I've been posting have been enjoyable like the outdoor siren systems and the 
fire alarms in my building. So that is reset. We can go ahead and reset this. Oh. Uh, someone was asking how I get this door to close on its own. So it's on the electromagnet and then I have it on a springed hinge, which I actually need to adjust the tension on as I think it's starting to lose its tension a little bit. But in any case, let's pull the ADT. Here we go. Push and pull. Go ahead and silence that. And then I put a reset the panel. Nope, guess I did now. Okay, I didn't want to do that, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, so panel is, I guess, now resetting. And wait for it to reset. Z panel inside is still the same. We still have the other two panels alive and well. Thankfully, none have gone into trouble while I've been away. Uh, do, 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 do. I know the next uh, system test in the lineup was supposed to be the Silent Night, but I really love my 4010, so I decided that we're going to do the 4010 again. So we can reset the door, and then come over here to the MS-151. So we're going to lift and pull. So we have acknowledged silence. Now the system is in reset. And you can see the light stay steady, even though. So that was severely unfortunate, but my phone decided to fill up with storage and then stop recording. So to end this test, oh, please don't fall in there. We are going to Saber Smoke test the Simplex Smoke Detector. There we go. There's my Saber. And then up here. That should be enough. Enjoy my dog running around upstairs. So I have the panel in silence. I have the smoke fan going to blow out the smoke detector and that is running through my notifier panel. Go ahead and silence that. Okay, we'll let that blow out there for a little bit. We can actually, let's check. Okay, so we are right now at 0%, 0%. Yep, okay, go ahead and put a reset. So I decided to cut me off one more time so at this point I can tell when I should end the test. So, thank you guys for watching and as always, have a wonderful day.